How would you deal with a customer that accuses you of stealing components from his device or swapping components from his device, whether it's a phone, laptop, desktop, or whatever device the customer brought in? Or even worse, how would you deal with the situation if that customer made it public and left a negative feedback somewhere online? Yelp, Google, Facebook, uh, any of the social media platforms out there. The reason I'm bringing this up right now is because I read a comment on one of our videos. The guy said he's always afraid to deal with the customer thinking that that customer may leave him a negative feedback. The guy's comment reminded me of an incident that happened to us in 2017. A uh, customer came in with a big HP laptop, you know, the 17-inch laptop, and he said that he has problems with Windows. Uh, Windows is not booting up or it's starting up, but there's too many problems, blue screens and stuff like that. I do not recall exactly what was wrong with Windows, but he said he wants Windows to be reinstalled on the computer. We asked the customer if there's anything that needs to be backed up and customer said no. So we took the laptop in and we started to work on the Windows restoration process. During the installation of Windows, fans were spinning high. That's an indication that there is an overheating problem with this laptop. I went on with uh, finishing the installation of Windows and after Windows installation was complete, 10 minutes after, the computer shuts itself down. It overheated and it went off. We contacted the customer by phone. We did not get an answer. We sent them a text message and we told them that there's an overheating problem with the laptop and it's gonna cost so-and-so if we wanna get it fixed. A uh, customer came in and he said, what's going on? We told him that we installed Windows for you. During the installation, fans were spinning high. And then after the installation of Windows, the laptop went off. Uh, laptop going off is an indication that there's an overheating problem uh, that needs to be fixed. He said, I did not bring my laptop in like this. I did not have this issue before. I told them, well, we did not uh, work on your motherboard. We did not work on your fans. All we did was install Windows for you. He said, uh, no, I do not want to do anything. I do not want you to install Windows. Just bring back my hard drive like it was before. I told him, what do you mean like it was before? He said, like I brought it to you with the same errors, with the same everything. I told them, no, we wiped the drive and we installed Windows for you. He said, well, I need my laptop to go back to the same condition I brought it in. I told him the laptop is in the same condition, but we erased the hard drive and we reinstalled Windows for you. So uh, what do you mean by go back to like it was? You had problems with the laptop before. Now you do not have problems. The only problem that you have is the overheating issue that needs to be taken care of. The customer is using the blackmailing language. You either fix the laptop for free or you fix the heating issue for free or I'm gonna leave you a negative feedback. I told the guy that uh, Windows is already installed like you requested. If you want the heating issue fixed, then it's gonna cost you that much money. Uh, he said, I want my laptop to be in the same condition. I brought it here with the same errors, with the same everything. I told him, we cannot bring your hard drive back to like it was. I did ask you if you have anything important on the drive and you said no. So what do you mean bring it back to its original status? Or bring it back to like it was with the errors? We fixed Windows for you. We installed Windows for you. We cannot bring it back to like it was with the errors. Uh, you're not making sense. He said, I do not want to fix anything with you. I do not want to deal with you. I just need my laptop and I want to be out of here. He want to take the laptop with Windows already installed. I told them, you need to give us a couple of minutes. We need to wipe Windows off the hard drive and you can have the laptop. We're not working for the guy. We're not giving the guy free Windows installation on his laptop. And that's what the guy wanted. He wanted us to uh, give him free Windows installation and then fix the heating issue or else he's going to leave us a negative feedback. So we wiped Windows clean and then I gave him the laptop. He said, can you open up the hard drive compartment? Most of the 17-inch HP laptops, they come with two hard drive compartments. One of them has a hard drive and the other one does not have anything. It's empty. It's used if you want to put another hard drive inside the laptop, but the laptop comes like this. It comes with one hard drive and the second compartment is empty. So the customer asked that we uh, take the cover off from the back. He want to take a look to see if everything is still inside the laptop. I told him, okay, I got him the screwdriver. I opened the back cover. He took out the cover and he saw that one of the hard drive compartments is empty and the other one has a hard drive. He told me, where's the other hard drive? I told him, what other hard drive? He said, I had two hard drives in here. Uh, I told him, no, you brought the laptop in with one hard drive. This compartment is empty by default. He said, no, I had two hard drives in here. What do you do with the customer? I told the guy, this HP laptop comes with one hard drive. That's how it comes by default. You can contact HP if you want to learn more. We do not have an interest in your hard drive and your hard drive is not going to make or break the business. This is how the laptop came to our shop. And the guy said, can you put the cover back? So I'm putting, I'm screwing the cover back on the laptop and another customer comes in. He started to talk with the customer. Do not work with this guy. Do not let this guy fix anything for you. He's going to steal your components. He's going to steal your parts. The guy is a thief. The guy is a robber. I mean, how do you deal with the situation 
where the guy is accusing you of stealing parts from his laptop and now he's talking to the other customer and telling the customer not to fix his stuff here that I'm a robber, I'm a thief, I stole his hard drive. I mean, I already explained to the guy that this laptop comes with one hard drive and I told him that he can call HP to find out if that laptop came with one or two hard drives. There's nothing more I can tell the guy that will make him think otherwise. The other customer asked me what happened. I told him there is misunderstanding and the guy thinks that he had two hard drives inside the laptop uh, and he really had one and not two. Everything was good with the customer and he did not run away. The guy took his laptop and he went straight to Yelp. He left the longest negative feedback that you've ever seen. Maybe like six paragraphs of nonsense negative feedback. And everything inside that negative feedback is a lie. I do not want to respond to the comment by saying, oh no, we did not do it. We are a respectable shop. We've been in business for nine years. I do not want to say any of that because the more you talk about it, the more guilty you will appear. So how do we respond to such a comment? What's the best way to respond to such a comment? People are going to read a negative feedback and they're going to read how you respond to that negative feedback. So your response matters because you can make that negative comment look positive if you respond properly. And I started to think, the first thing I did not do is jump straight to the comment box and start typing. I did not do that because I was angry. I was uh, pissed off. I did not want to type something that I would regret later. So I just took a deep breath. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to uh, proofread it. I'm going to do all that stuff. I want a comment that's going to turn that negative feedback to something positive. And that's what I did. I'm going to show you what I wrote. He's an elite Yelp user, which means that he left a lot of feedback on Yelp. And that's why the more reviews you leave on Yelp, the more you will go up in ranking. I think if you leave 20 or 30 reviews, you're an elite user. And that's the comment that he left. Look at the length of this feedback. Look. Word of advice, fellow Yelpers, do not bring anything to Northridge Fix. If you do, please mark your computer parts because either he might replace it with a cheaper part or just steal it, which he did with mine. Look at the reply I posted. And I thought about this reply a lot and I proof read the reply and I let somebody else read the reply. I wanted to post something that will convert this negative feedback into something positive because everything that he mentioned in this feedback is not true. So this is what I said. Thank you for taking the time to leave us a feedback. We always strive to provide the best service with the highest regards to customer satisfaction. It is unfortunate that we were unable to get your satisfaction at this time. Due to the nature of the business, some issues may not be obvious upon initial inspection. We are always developing new and improved ways with the help of new technology to give customers more accurate inspections before a ticket is served. You came in for operating system issues, but your computer also had heating problems that we were unaware of. We did not charge you for the service since you did not agree to the added repair cost. We are always here to assist you if you have any questions or need our help in the future. Best regards. That's how we responded to five paragraphs of negative feedback. If you notice, we did not speak in the same language that he spoke with. We did not uh, use bad words. We did not uh, comment on all the false accusations that he posted. <coughs> Hey man, how are you? Hi. Hey. How, how is everything going? going? Good evening. It's very important to have respect in your reply. The reply must have some elegance in it. Eloquence, respect. You want to come out to the customer as being somebody that you can trust. I mean, customers can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, it, you know who you are. You know what you did. You know what you did not do. I do not want to focus on the stealing part of the negative feedback because we did not do any of that. So why would I waste my time explaining something I did not do? The first thing that we did was we thanked the customer for leaving a feedback. The next thing that we did, uh, we always strive to provide the best service with the highest regards to customer satisfaction. So we are always improving. We are always working hard to gain customer satisfaction. When a customer reads this reply, they will immediately get the impression that this person is honest. That person knows what he's talking about. That person is respectable. That person we can count on. And uh, due to the nature of this business, some issues may not be obvious upon initial inspection, which is true. You may look at something and assume that uh, this is what's causing the problem. But as you work on it, you will find out that maybe uh, there's something else that's causing this problem. It always happens. If a customer came in and told me my phone is not charging, 
the first thing that comes to mind, maybe the charger is bad, maybe the battery is bad, maybe the TriStar chip is bad, maybe something else is causing the phone not to charge. We tell the customer, we think it's this, this, or this. We come to work on it, it's neither this, this, or this, it's something else. So we have to call the customer and let them know that the problem is something else. And we tell them the price according to the problem. We took the laptop in, we did not even try the laptop when the customer brought it in. So if you do get a negative feedback, just take a deep breath, take a 20, 30 minute cool off period just to think about what you're gonna write uh, and just know that people will be reading your comment. Do not speak in the same language the customer spoke with. People will be reading your reply and they're gonna judge you based on the reply. Do not focus on false accusations because it will drain you and the more you explain, the more guilty you'll appear. Uh, we did not cut the line on the customer. We told them, we are always here to assist you if you have any questions or need our help in the future. When a customer reads this, they feel comfort because they know if they have any questions, they can call you. They know that they can rely on you in case of any issues. And that's why we tell every customer that comes to our shop, we have 60 days warranty in case of any issues. For example, a customer tells me, what's the warranty on the screen? As long as there's no physical damage, the screen is covered for defects. Let's say uh, lines develop on the screen or spots develop on the screen or you see discoloration on the screen, that's a defect with the screen. And you should notice that on the first day, the second day, the third day, maybe one week, but we give you 60 days for the peace of mind. If anything goes wrong, you can always come back and we will do the service for you again at no charge, as long as you communicate with us. Because there's a lot of times where a customer would not communicate with you. Something is wrong and they just go and leave a negative feedback. They would not even give you a chance to fix their problem. So I'm gonna end it right here. It's time to go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.